Yo, today I'm going to be going over some things I would love to see in Borderlands 4. Things that I think can make this game one of, if not the best in the franchise. So let's just get right into it. Number 1. I would like some place in the main hub, like Sanctuary, where we can see the max stat rolls for every unique and legendary gun. This would help all players, making it so you wouldn't have to go check a wiki or YouTube video, when in the end, you may not even find the info you were looking for. Additionally, it would function as a list of all the legendary and unique weapons, so once again, you won't have to go check a wiki for a list of weapons, whether you want to collect them all, or even just the Jacobs or Vladoff guns. Seeing as I love to do challenge runs, this would be one of my favorite new additions, and I thought it deserved to be first. Number 2. After killing a boss, or special enemy, we should only have to leave the boss room or area and come back for bosses or special enemies to respawn like Scrap Trap in the Handsome Jackpot DLC from Borderlands 3. It would make farming much faster for both PC and console players, while also maintaining immersion, since you wouldn't have to sit through loading screens between every reset. Number 3. Currently, when respecting your skill tree, you have to pay based on how much money you currently have at a quick change station, and then you get all your skill points back to spend however you would like. But it would be much better for build experimentation and user friendliness if instead you only pay per point at a drastically reduced price. So let's say you accidentally spend one too many skill points on a skill. You can just pay to get back that one skill point rather than respecting all your points all over again just for one little mistake. Number 4. White and green tier item drops should be drastically reduced once you hit a certain level or point in the story and slightly increased chances of finding a new, extremely rare tier of guns, like Perlescence from Borderlands 1 and 2. In specifics, I think something like reduced chances of finding white items by 80%, reduced green items by 60%, and make your chances of finding Perlescence like 10%, while the normal Perlescent drop rate before this point should be incredibly low, like 1%, to make them still obtainable early game, but extremely rare and making them slightly easier to farm in the end game. Number 5. I personally love the endgame of Borderlands, and I think we should have a more diverse endgame than ever before. With the amount of raids, DLC, and farmable bosses from Borderlands 3, or even more, while also having something like the Chaos Chambers from Tiny Tina's Wonderlands mixed into one game. The endgame is already really good in past Borderlands games, but it could be so much more fun and worth spending even more time farming for Godworld equipment for your builds. I know I would love to see a ton of endgame content for Borderlands 4 at launch, but it may be something we have to wait a little bit to get, which I'm okay with, as long as we get consistent updates and new DLC. Either way, I hope we get a ton of endgame content. Number 6. Introducing a new unique weapons manufacturer slash super corporation would be awesome. It could tie into the story and lore, and potentially give us a new threatening antagonist for the fourth game as well as giving us a new type of gun, like the laser guns from the pre-sequel. Handsome Jack is by far the best antagonist in any Borderlands game. Since Jack was the CEO of Hyperion in Borderlands 2, I think Gearbox could recapture some of Jack's charm in a new CEO of a new company in Borderlands 4. Number 7. I would love to see additional playable characters in the base game, or in the form of DLC like in Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel. Having more characters adds so much replayability to the story and diversity to the endgame. If we could get at least 6 total characters, like in previous titles, that would be amazing. But I'd love to see a 7th or even 8th character as well. The more the merrier. On top of additional characters, I really liked how the Vault Hunters in Borderlands 3 each had received an additional 4th skill tree with the release of the Designer's Cut DLC. If we could get something like 6 total characters each with 4 skill trees, I don't think anyone could complain about not having enough build variety. Number 8 It would be amazing if we could travel between multiple planets during the story like in Borderlands 3. Being able to travel to other planets made Borderlands 3 such a unique and special title in the franchise, and I would love to revisit that concept in Borderlands 4. I also think that it would be great to have a unique set of story missions for each playable character. I think you should be able to play any character's unique missions, no matter who you are playing. However, the character that would appear in cutscenes and your dialogue would change to whatever character's story mission you are doing. So, for example, 
If I'm playing Moe's, but I want to play through the Zane story missions, I still can, but I'll only see Zane in cutscenes and hear Zane's dialogue. To wrap things up, I think these features would be very welcomed by most, if not all, fans of the series. And if everything else is done right, I think these additions could make for a masterpiece of a Borderlands game. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a like and or sub, and let me know in the comments what you would like to see added in Borderlands 4. Thank you for your time, and peace out.